Look where I am. Okay, I am here with Mary, and Mary and I met on YouTube slash Facebook, and we had this planned a year ago that we were gonna go to the Goodwill bins, and we were gonna have a challenge. So we're gonna go into the store, we're gonna shop around, and we're gonna show you what we got, and you guys, you guys, get to decide who had the best haul. Okay, Mary, okay. show us your receipt. I spent $17.47. Okay. Okay. What did Courtney Bolo Buddy spend at the bins? For $28.20. Okay. Okay, so Mary watches my YouTube channel and we figured out that we live about 45 minutes from each other and we decided we wanted to go to the bins and have a challenge. This is completely 100% just a friendly challenge. You guys are welcome to vote in the comments, but it's just for fun. There is no actual winner. Now, Mary has never been to the bins, and I've only been there a few times, so it should be fun. I'm going to show you some footage of me digging through the bins, and at the end of the video, we go to Mary's trunk, and we show you what we got. We uh, told you at the beginning how much we spent, so I spent a little more, but you're going to actually see what we actually decided to keep, and then you guys can put in the comments who you think won. It's kind of tricky because I spent quite a bit more than she did, so I got a lot more stuff. So please keep that in mind also. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full time reseller. All right, let's get started. Okay, Bola Buddies, here we go. So that's like a new new item right there, right off the bat. That's what I found. So let's talk about our situation. So Mary is subscribed to my channel. And like I said, we figured out that we lived close and we decided we were going to do this Ben's challenge. We literally had it scheduled. I think we were supposed to go that Saturday and it was like maybe a Wednesday or something like that. And the governor started making announcements that things were shutting down. And I'm like, what? I'm like, all right, Mary, you know, let's just kind of wait until this all is over and, you know, we'll go. And I'm thinking a month, maybe two, and then things will be back to normal. Oh, here we are a year later, finally doing our Goodwill Benz challenge. Unbelievable. So um, this is Mary's first time at the Benz. I have been to the Benz a few times. I do have some other videos. If you go to my YouTube channel and search the word Benz, you can find those videos. Typically, I don't find a whole lot. Um, the the Benz just has not been that great to me. So um, we went today in this video, not today when I'm recording this, but and there were people standing outside waiting to get in. So we got there right when it opened. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this place is going to be packed in an hour. But actually, the people that were waiting, that was about all. I mean, I didn't notice a bunch of people coming in, but I really wasn't watching the door. So anyway, look how cute this little thing. Is that a porcupine? Me and Mary were trying to figure out if this was a possum or a porcupine. Are those a, is that the same thing? No. I don't know. <laughs> That's awful. Okay, so this poo, I put him in my cart, but you'll see what happens. There's something that happens with the poo bear. All right, so I'm digging. And I'm telling you, there was a lot of stuff this time. And I'm going to show you quite a bit of footage because I was having a good time and I was taking my time. And I want you guys to let me know. There's Mary. She's over at another bin. She wasn't trying to like take my stuff. But then I was thinking, I wonder if she's got the good stuff over on her side. There's a big Peppa the Pig house, which is probably a good find, but I didn't want to ship it. So I just left that behind. Do you guys ever do that? Are you like, oh, it's a good item. I should buy it, but I don't want to ship it. I do it all the time. I'm so guilty of that. All right. So I did find quite a bit of stuff. As you can see in the beginning of the video, I spent $28. And at this Goodwill, it's $1.59 a pound 
for um, everything except the books. I think the books were 59 cents a pound. I was checking out the movies. You just never know. There might be one that's sealed. I would pick up a DVD if it was sealed. Um, oh, wait until you guys see what I find. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Lots of uh, big items. You know, I guess if I sold on Facebook Marketplace, maybe some of this stuff I could have picked up. But I don't do a whole lot of Facebook Marketplace. I have tried the Facebook Marketplace with shipping. But um, I don't know. It's just I'm not feeling it. You know, I'm trying. I sold one thing. But um, I don't know. It's just it seems like a lot. Uh, I already cross post my items from eBay to Mercari and Poshmark, and I've even been slacking on Etsy. Um, but I list a lot, so just to get it on two more platforms is a lot for me to try to maintain. I do use List Perfectly, which you guys know if you watch me. Um, I absolutely love List Perfectly, and it, it's ex and it, ah, I cannot talk. It is an extension that um, helps you cross post your items. And I do have um, a video that shows you how to do that. I have quite a few videos because I love it. Um, definitely check that out if you're interested in getting your I items on multiple platforms because it makes it so much faster. And if you decide you want to try it, I do have a coupon referral code. It is Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that will get you 30% off your first month, which is awesome. And I've been using it for over a year. Um, I wouldn't recommend it if I didn't use it and love it. So I did put that in my cart, that little poo. Um, I like Disney toys. I put this in my cart also. I don't know, you know, the craze with the Pokemon. Is it Pokemon or Pokemon? Man or Mon? I think it's Pokemon. Like some of that stuff, like I think the cards are really hot right now. So I was like, maybe somebody will want the DVD. It's $1.59 a pound, so it's probably going to cost me 20 cents, so I just went ahead and grabbed it. And again, at the end of the video, you guys are going to see, we're going to go over to Mary's trunk, which she cleaned out, and she's going to show her stuff, and then I'm going to show my stuff, and you guys can vote in the comments. So it's just fun. It's just something fun to do. I think it's really cool that it's somebody that um, I'm meeting for the first time that's subscribed to my channel and she leaves comments and she shares on Pinterest and she's become a good friend. And um, yeah, I think we'll do this again because we had a really fun time. We went here and then connected to this building is a thrift store, a Goodwill thrift store, which is really cool. So we did go over there and we found some more goodies, some good stuff. Um, that video um, will be on my main channel also, along with this one. So my new channel is called Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. And most of the items like this, if it's just me sourcing, are going to be on that channel. This one, I'm involving somebody else um, in the challenge. So I'm going to put this on my main channel. And then, um, you know, so just trying to mix it up a little bit, but I don't want a ton of sourcing channels on this channel anymore. I'm going to try to put those over on the other channel. So if you're not subscribed, please go over and check that out. I do have a link down in the description of the video that will tell you how to find that channel. All right, you guys, have you seen anything that I have passed up? Because I'm telling you, these bins were full that's a Christmas ornament. You guys know I love Christmas ornaments. Um, so I did pick that up. It probably cost me, what, 10 cents, 15 cents, super lightweight. Definitely a bread and butter item. I'm not going to make a lot of money on it, but it all adds up. I say that all the time when I do my bread and butter videos. It all adds up. I don't know what. Oh, I think that was, um, I think it said MGA. So maybe it was like Bratz or... I don't know. Do you guys know? I didn't get a really good picture of it. I think that pool goes with it, but it did say MGA. So I'm thinking probably Bratz dolls or LOL. Maybe it was LOL. I don't think so. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not an expert at toys yet. I'm learning. I'm getting better. I definitely love selling them. I almost dumped that whole game out. That would have been really bad. 
So that's a little live pets. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of those. I usually pick those up when I find them. Anything that says for real or live pets, um, that is an accessory. Sometimes people lose the accessories and they'll, they just need that. So they'll buy it. So I do pick those up when I see them. They are usually a bread and butter item, but I don't mind bread and butter. Um, there's days when I hardly sell anything that's big money and it's all bread and butter. But at the end of the day, it all adds up to a pretty decent day. And I'm really thankful for that bread and butter because if I didn't have the bread and butter in my store, I wouldn't have sold anything, you know? So you can't always sell big money items. I think this goes with a game. Um, I saw it right after I sat it down. I don't know if it actually gets in the frame. Yep, there it is. It's that gymnastics game. Um, that's like a little purse. I mean, there was lots of junk, <laughs> but I did find some good stuff that I'm pretty excited about. Um, I don't think I found anything that is like, oh my goodness, a big money bolo. But um, that said it retailed for $47.99. Um, and I like angels, but I have so much Christmas stuff to list. So I left that one behind. Um, I put this in my cart and there's actually another one. Um, there was like a turtle and I'm not sure what that guy was. Actually, I left him and then I found the turtle and I went back for it. You'll see me do this because I was thinking I could sell them as a lot, but they were kind of dirty and I was like, I'm going to have to clean them. And I looked up comps and the comps weren't like a home run. So I'm like, it's just not worth the effort. So I went ahead and left that behind. I probably should have looked at those cassettes. Maybe there was something good there, but I didn't. All right, we're just going to keep looking here. It's weird doing a voiceover because you're kind of like looking back and reflecting at like, oh, maybe I should have grabbed that. Oh, I missed that. Or I don't remember seeing that. Or why on earth did I buy that? Do you ever do that? You get home and you're like, what was I thinking? I do that. I do that a lot. Sometimes, you know, you just feel like you want to buy stuff. But I've been trying to uh, be more cautious of that conscientious. Maybe that's the word I want. Cautious, conscientious. <laughs> oh boy. This is like origami paper. And I put this in my cart and then I was like, uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's complete, but there was a lot of paper. Okay. So then I go up here and I find, whoa, whoa. Oh, I dropped my phone. That's right. <laughs> I find more of the paper, but it looked like it had like mold or dirt or something on it. So I took the origami paper back out of my cart. Okay, here's the turtle. And I went back and grabbed the other guy. But again, I did end up putting these back. They were a no go for me. If they would have been clean and in better condition, I would have got them. So I put them in my cart and then I took them out of my cart. I do that a lot at the bins also. What do you guys do at the bins? Do you like fill your cart and then look up comps or do you just buy everything and just go home and be like, it's cheap enough, I can just buy it and then donate it if it doesn't comp out? Do you stand in the store and look up comps? Let me know what you do when you're at the bins. How do you, uh, how do you check your items? And are you allowed to record at your Goodwill bins? I don't know if you're allowed to record here. I don't record people in my videos. I keep um, my phone, uh, I just hold it really close to my body and I face it down and I don't film any people. I've never had anyone say anything to me. I think most places are pretty cool about it. Um, check this out. So I did look up comps on this guy and they're actually pretty good. I believe it's like a Disney cup. I, I don't think it's Mark Disney. I didn't look at it good enough, but I did look up comps on eBay. I think his name is Sven, S-V-E-N is how you say it. And he's from the movie Frozen. That is actually a cup that you put a straw in. So I don't know if it came from like um, an event or I, I, I'm not really sure. But typically they sell things like that. But the comps were pretty good on that. Not like crazy good, but definitely 
you know, a higher end bread and butter. This thing helped me out here if anybody knows what it is. It says Mattel on the bottom, but it also says Matchbox. It does have lights and sound. Um, you'll see I did end up picking it up. I show you at the end of the video, but I'm not sure if it's functioning correctly. So I'm going to try to find a YouTube video that shows me how that works. But so far I have been unsuccessful with finding comps. And I will say that that item was pretty heavy. So I probably did pay quite a bit for that one. Well, quite a bit in the realm of uh, Goodwill Ben's prices. You know, it was heavy. Maybe three, four bucks. So I'm hoping it's going to be a, uh, a bolo. But even if it's not, I should be able to make my money back. All right, you guys, I definitely want your feedback. Okay, you see this little thing? At first sight, I thought this was Victoria's Secret. You can see I'm like really looking at it um, because I have sold one that is Victoria's Secret before and it sold super fast. But that one was just a no-name brand that I did or a brand that was common or I didn't know, I can't remember, but it was not Victoria's Secret. So I did throw it back, but that's why I was looking at it is because I had sold something like it before. It was bread and butter, but it sold quick. And I like bread and butter that sells quick. It's easy to list and then I just sell it quick and ship it out. I did pick up that little guy too. I can't remember who that is, but I love selling toys. My concern is, is that I'm selling um, more and more toys, and I'm wondering if my viewers um, like seeing toys or if they like more variety. So once garage sale season starts up again, I will be getting more and more um, items that are not just toys, but I've been picking up a lot of toys lately. I'm kind of in a, a toy mood right now. So, and you'll see my haul at the end. I got a lot of toys. I could not get this thing unhooked. Uh, it was just like twisted around the wheel and I'm trying to hold my phone and I finally turned off my phone and unhooked it. I almost bought this, but I put it back. Uh, the comps weren't great. It probably would have been like seven bucks. Oh my gosh, you guys, look what I found. Oh my goodness. Did you see that? Did you see it? I'll show you at the end of the video. I bought it. I can't believe I found it. Do you sense my sarcasm? <laughs> we'll come back to that. All right, let's see what else I found. Do you guys like these types of videos? Like, is it relaxing? Is it entertaining? Let me know what types of thrift videos you like. So obviously, um, I started my new channel sourcing with Bolo Buddies. So let me know what types of videos you guys want me to put over on that channel. Again, this video would typically be on that channel if it was just me, but because Mary's involved, I want to put it on the main channel. I am going to link her store down in the description of the video along with mine that are down there also. So I'm trying to pass this cart and he's going the wrong way. And I'm like, can't get through. And I'm like, why can't I get through? Oh, it's because he's going the wrong way. Like, the arrows tell you which way to go and his cart is facing the wrong way. Anyway, I finally got through. I just left my cart back at the end and then I just passed him. He's like, I'll turn around. I'm like, okay, <laughs> please just turn your cart so I can get past you. Anyway, it worked out, but he definitely wasn't following the arrows, which I wasn't following the arrows either until Mary's like, Hey, Courtney, there are arrows. You have to follow the arrows. I'm like, oh, yes. We now live in a world where we have arrows and aisles and we wear masks. And I don't know what this is from, but I picked it up. I feel like it could be something. Bread and butter at the very least. So I did get that. Um, and I'm not telling you every item that I picked up. Um, just a few here and there just to keep the keep it moving along so I have something to talk about. Um, that is a Paw Patrol vehicle, which I really like selling Paw Patrol. I do well with it. Um, it can be bread and butter, but the Sea Patrol, if you've watched uh, some of my What Solds, I have done really well with the Sea Patrol. So definitely be on the lookout for those. 
I think those sold on Mercari really, really well and fast. There's some more Paw Patrol. So I'm going all the way back to my cart and you can see the guy moved. So I was able to get my cart and get my stuff in it. There's another Paw Patrol. So yeah, I mean, these are name brand toys. I did pick this up. Um, I think it's one of those things that um, nesting, nesting doll, that's the word. That is the word. That's a Build-A-Bear. I do have one of these listed and I have mine kind of listed high. I think it's called La La Lopsy or something like that. But the one I have has all of its clothing on. And Mary actually did comps on that. And it didn't comp out very high without the clothes. So we both left that one behind. All right, let's see what else we have. What else did we get? It was a, um, it was a fun trip. It was so nice to just get out and go to the bins. Now this is a Build-A-Bear and it is a frozen Build-A-Bear. I also have one of those listed um, and I have mine listed kind of high. Mine has a dress on and it's more blue and glitter. Um, that one only had the shorts and the underwear and I almost put it in my cart and then I was like, I have so much plush to list. So I left it behind. And um, yeah, we'll talk about that later. That was a really cool puzzle. If that would have been sealed, I totally would have grabbed it. It was a German Shepherd. So it would have appealed to um, people who have a German Shepherd and to people that like puzzles. So that was definitely, definitely a cool one but it was not sealed and I am not buying a puzzle from the bins that is not sealed. Would you buy a puzzle from the bins that's not sealed? Have you? What did you do? Did you put it together? Did you count the pieces? Let me know. I just feel like they could get dumped out so easily and then somebody could put the lid back on and you'd never know the difference. So, all right, let's see. Oh, here's an ornament. Do you think I got it? Do you think it will be in my haul at the end of the video? I put it in my cart. Oh no, I'm going to have to turn the camera. Which that will make no sense to you guys because I'm going to do that. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we have here. We have some hangers. Uh, this bag was sitting there with stuff in it, which I'm really surprised by that. I'm surprised they don't dump things like that out because who knows what could be in there. You know what I mean? Kind of scary but they didn't dump it. And I am realizing how long this video is because I'm doing a voiceover and it's taking forever. Gosh, I hope you guys are not bored. Um, if you're completely bored, just fast forward to the end so you can see what we got. Um, let me know, are you bored or do you are you having fun? Do you like this? I imagine if you're watching it, you like these types of videos because you guys are probably on a treasure hunt right now. But I just never know. So, um, I'm curious. I'm curious. Let me know in the comments. Uh, here's a tip. Those puzzles right there, those wood puzzles, um, those are typically a bread and butter item. But if you lot two or three of them up, as long as you stay under five pounds and put them on Mercari, uh, I'm sorry, not Mercari, on Poshmark, um, there's one flat fee for items on Poshmark if it's five pounds or less. So, I mean, you can probably do like three for 15 or something like that. It would definitely be bread and butter, but you'd probably not be very successful selling it on eBay or Mercari because of the shipping fees. So heavy items, a lot of times that is what I will do. I will put them on um, Poshmark. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Um, just make sure it's not over five pounds. And I have a video on what to do if your package weighs more than five pounds. You can search my YouTube channel for that if you guys are interested. All right, let's see what else I can find. Those glasses, check those out. Make sure they weren't like some Gucci or... I don't know, does Gucci even make sunglasses? Oakley, Oakley makes sunglasses. Are Oakley still like popular? 
<laughs> I don't know. I always liked Oakley's. I think I have a pair of Oakley's. I picked this guy up. He's cool. He's a little dino. I think he's a dino. Uh-oh. Got to turn my camera. All right. We are getting towards the end, I think. Is that a pine cone? Oh, I, I grabbed this hippo. I like hippos. It's like a Disney character, I believe. So if they don't have enough value as a bread and butter item, a lot of those items I can pick up and I can sell them for $10, $15. You would be surprised, even cake toppers. And you guys, if you're watching my bread and butter videos, you've seen me sell these little characters for decent money. Um, it's definitely, definitely possible for sure to make money on one single toy item that you would look at and think it has no value. It's just all in a matter of where you want to put your time and what you're comfortable with. Look at that little guy. I don't think I got him. I probably should have. You just never know. Use that Google lens and look those toys up because you might be really surprised. There was one item. It was like a moth. And I think I sold it for over $20. And it was like three inches by three inches by like a half inch or a quarter of an inch. It was little. This was kind of cute. I probably should have got that. There were two of them. I probably should have got them. I think they were just Target brand, but they were really cute. I should have got them. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Um, would you guys have got those if they, they were Target brand? I mean, I don't know if it was part of a set. This is kind of like Christmassy items here. You guys know I like Christmas stuff. Oh, Peppa the Pig. Did I pick it up? Did I put it in my cart? Did I buy it? Comment below. Comment before the end and let me know if I got the Peppa the Pig car. What is that? I don't know what these guys are. I think those were just um, McDonald's toys. That was kind of, I don't know. These ornaments, sometimes I, I think I get a little crazy with the ornaments just because they're so easy to list. And I do so well with some of them but also some of them sit. So I need to be more careful with the ornaments, I think. All right, we're getting to the end, you guys. And then you get to see what we got. Um, yeah, almost $10 difference in what we spent, which at $1.59 a pound, that definitely, I think I had two bags. Look at my cart. My cart is filling up. I walk over to Mary and she's like, oh my gosh, you have so much stuff. I'm like, I know, I know. All right. I think I'm getting ready to walk over to Mary. When you guys are at the Benz, do you pick up DVDs? And do you test them if they're not sealed? Because that is a concern of mine is that I would get something and it would be completely scratched and I just wouldn't feel comfortable selling, I guess, a, a used DVD unless I sold them in a lot. If I sold them in a lot, I think that would be okay. Because yeah, you could probably pick up like, I don't know, 50 DVDs for probably pretty cheap. That's an idea. I don't know. I would feel awful if people got them and they, they didn't work. I keep saying we're almost to the end because I feel like we should be almost to the end. <laughs> but I can't delete sections now, I don't think, because I think it'll mess up my voiceover. I don't know. I'm kind of new to the edit editing, but I didn't want to like watch it and then do the voiceover, like edit, and then do the voiceover because then it would have taken me like four hours. <laughs> All right, we're getting there. Let's see. I don't think there's anything exciting in this section, but I could be wrong. I don't really recall. Do you guys pick up the hangers? That's a good question for people that sell clothing if you see hangers at the bins, do you pick them up? And I did not even look at the clothing. 
Do you guys look at clothes when you go to the bins? I didn't look at the shoes. I didn't look at the clothes. I didn't look at the books. I really just stuck with the hard goods. That's really what I like. I'm trying to get out of clothing. So um, yeah, let me know your favorite part of the bins to search. Comment below. I know some people have walked out of the bins with some crazy good clothing finds. My competition. She's digging. Okay, she had no idea I was recording her. <laughs> I snuck up on her. Okay, this Pooh Bear I put back because he had a hole. And right before we were leaving, I checked a bin I had already looked at, and look what I found. Um, I couldn't get him to work, so I'm going to change the batteries and see if I can get him to work. All right, let's check out our hauls. Okay, Mary, okay. show us your receipt. I spent $17.47 Okay, at the let's see what you got. Okay, I got these third edition GRE flashcards okay. um, for test prep. I got this bag of Smart Max magnets. Okay. And this, these look like um, cards that went game. to a yeah part of a game, and so I figure if if there are different yeah. um yeah replacements. refills yeah replacements yep. it's yep. called Lincoln. Definitely. And here is an angel, and this is Roman, and the original price was forty seven, and it does work. Okay. I love tree toppers. This is the Elsa Build a Bear. It says okay. Elsa, and it's got you know the clothes, and that'll make it worth more. This is a Barbie tractor. It may be vintage, I'll have to check. But it looks- Maybe from the 90s. Oh, it's 2017. Okay. But that's okay, people still use their I Barbies. I like how it's got the little thing that holds the Barbie on it. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Oh yeah, that is cute. Um, this is a carnival frame, in case somebody went on a cruise and forgot to buy a frame. Nancy Drew, I used to read when I was a kid and somebody's got written in there 1970. Okay. Um, we go to mass. This is an, an, a puzzle book, and I checked to make sure it was complete. And being that we're in Lent, I thought people might be looking for those kinds of things. Okay. Here is a Paw Patrol game. So and checkers or chess? Checkers probably. This, this yeah, it, it's, this looks like chess. Yes, and then it's got it's got the, pieces. the pieces. It looks like it's in nice condition. All right. Paw Patrol's huge, according to my grandson, and. This is just a minion tablecloth, and All I've right. sold minions before, so I figured awesome. it probably cost three cents. So. All right. Okay. <laughs> let's see what Bolo Thanks. Buddies Courtney got. Okay. All right. You what my face though? <laughs> okay. What did Courtney Bolo Buddies spend at the bins? For twenty-eight dollars and twenty cents. Okay. Let's All see right, what you guys. got. All right. I got this light and motion. Hallmark ornament. I believe it's vintage. Have to see if it works. I got a bunch. I got this live <laughs> pet um, accessory. So that'll be a good bread and butter item. This Coca-Cola again, bread and butter, but I couldn't pass it up. I love ornaments. Kurt Adler. I got this Peppa the Pig um, car. This guy I just thought was cute. Unfortunately, it has some writing right here. Is this a porcupine? What is this guy? Anybody know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now here's the other one that I'm stumped by. I feel like it could be special, but I could be wrong. It's like a matchbox and I turned it off. Hi, I'm Rocky. Let's be it might be broke. Who knows? I'm going to have to research it. But it has lights and sounds and it's matchbox. So we'll have to see what that actually... Maybe I can look it up on YouTube. I got these blackout curtains that are new old stock. So, well, I don't even know if they're old stock. But I can just scan the barcode. Okay, you guys. I know you're all going to be so jealous. <laughs> sealed! VHS, The Little Mermaid, it's sealed. One of these went for thousands of dollars. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. But it is sealed, and I have had decent luck with sealed VHS. It does have some cracking, but I more bought it just to make a, 
funny joke. So <laughs> I did get that. Um, okay. Next bag. I don't know where this guy is from, but I, he just seemed like he could be something special. He's Fisher Price Mattel 2009. So I got to figure out what, maybe he's Toy Story. He I actually know. does kind of look like Toy Story. I got, I love picking up Paw Patrol. So I got, um, I, I think it's Sky. I would say Sky. Sky. Yep. <laughs> we can ask my grandson. I got <laughs> this Batman thing. You guys, I love selling toys. Uh, I don't know what this is, but I think it's cute. It's a little Disney. Mm -hmm. I got this guy. He talks. I think he may do something else, but he may not work. So that one was questionable. This is a cup. And it's um, dirty. That's disgusting. Oh, no. <laughs> but but at least you figured out it's a cup. Yeah, it's a cup. I, I'm guessing that maybe I can just put that in the dishwasher. But the comps, I did look this one up on in when I was inside, and they were pretty decent. Yay. This is some sort of Transformer toy. I got a Furby. It's not a super old one, but these do still sell. I don't know. It's not working right now. It may need a battery, or it may not work. But I don't know. There's Furby people that know how to fix them. So we'll see if that works. I know Pokemon can be like something that people like. I just grabbed it because it was probably like 20 cents. I'll look it up. Robo Dog, I believe is this guy. I've sold him before. Um, he's usually a Bolo because he is harder to find. And when I say Bolo, bread and butter Bolo. But I should be able to do pretty well on that. I don't know what this is from, but it looks like a dinosaur. So I grabbed it. I'm gonna have to look that one up. Uh, a couple more little dinos. I don't know if those are, I don't know what those are from. Tommy is the brand and they look like a set. So I'll probably sell those together. A Paw Patrol. I've sold these before. They're like little transformer cars. This is, I think, from Moana. I've sold the pig before. I do pretty well with these little things. They are major bread and butter, but that's okay. This is another Paw Patrol. Um, this is one of those things that you, that they stack and I don't know if it's vintage or not, but I thought it was cute. I just mm -hmm. noticed it has a little dent. This guy is, I think, a Disney character. So again, I, I love toys, a Paw Patrol, and then I don't remember what character that is, but I feel like I've sold it before. So that is my Goodwill bins, $1.59 a pound haul. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> okay, you can hit stop. <laughs> Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.